Hello everyone, um, back to make a video. This will probably be the only video I make this week, maybe. It really depends because um, a little update, quick update for you guys is that I will be actually able to move back in on campus. So I'm leaving here Friday and I'll be moving back into my dorm on the 16th. Uh, the only reason I was able to do that is because I had to apply for like an emergency exception so that I can get back into my dorm. Otherwise, my new move-in date wasn't until January 30th, but for personal reasons, I don't want to stay at my mom's for much longer. Um, but that, I'm not, obviously, I don't feel like getting into that unless I know you personally. But, uh, so that's going to be a little bit of a woo, crazy thing, especially because I'm going to show you I have two custom orders and another doll kit that uh, I'm going to be working on. Um, the two customs will be at the same time. Uh, the third doll will just be after I finish those customs. But I additionally wanted to mention that, yes, believe it or not, Miles is up for sale. He is not cheap. He was not a cheap baby to buy. And he is very high quality. Obviously, this lighting isn't showing him very well. Um, I can send you a link to his listings if you're interested. Uh, like I said, he's not cheap. Uh, he's over 500. He's 550 shipped, but that's again because he is high quality. Um, plus, his additionally, his artist won't even be painting any more dolls uh, after. Well, I think she's done now for a little while. Uh, she said she won't be painting anymore until further notice. So he might be one of the last dolls she makes ever. So anyway, he's very high quality. He's six pounds exactly. I weighted him amazingly. You can see all the videos I have of him from the past few months. I got him in August and, you know, he's in perfect condition. I always treat my dolls perfectly. Um, so yeah, he is available for sale. And additionally, my August is still available for sale. Um, 420 shipped. Um, might do 400 shipped if I get an offer for that. Uh, additionally, this baby also is quite um, detailed. I think she's really beautiful and I'm really proud of her. Um, she's bigger. She's 22 inches and uh, 6 pounds as well. Uh, I will not take payments for her, but I will take payment plans on Michael, which is Miles. He's a real born Michael kit. I don't know if I said that. But yes, I will take payment plans on him because I understand he is quite a bit more expensive for people. But I think that's a very valid price for this baby. Um, so I do not want to take payments on her. Uh, but yeah, so that's what all I wanted to say. Those two are available, and now I'm going to get into opening up these new kits. Like I said, two of them are customs. One, uh, someone actually rec wanted me to do a video opening and looking at the kit. So that's why I am actually started making this video. But I was like, you know what? Since I ordered so many kits, I might as well do them all and look at them all. And it, you can see the size differences um, in the kits because one of the kits is quite a bit bigger than the other. So I'm going to line them all up and you can see all of that, all of them together. Um, I'll let you guys know if he sells before, like if he sells while I'm filming this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll update that in the comments. Anyway, let's get into looking at some kits, you guys. Okay, so this first kit is actually um, a McPherson's kit. It's not like a Bountiful Baby. The other two kits are from Bountiful Baby. So this is the bigger kit that I was talking about. She is a custom order. And... Um, she is bigger. She's the bigger one. She's quite, uh, I think she's about 24, 25 inches. So she'll probably wear three to six months, six months um, very well. This is a custom order. It's just a painted kit. So I'm not going to root her or put her eyes in or assemble her, her anything. Uh, she's just going to be painted. Um, I'm really excited to paint her because she is bigger and I do appreciate when I do get orders for bigger kits and she's like a perfect size to me like um so this is her she's Tyra Tara I don't know how to say her name by Gundren Legler um which is so funny because I just did two of Legler's kits um the Sam and the Micah so yeah she's gonna be really cute I'm really excited about her and she is limited edition so if you want to grab her I would before she runs out of uh stock 
But yeah, so she'll be 24 to 25 inches. So she has three fourth limbs, which is why I know for sure she'll fit in my oven. Um, I need to get another extension ring because that's why I haven't been doing any, I haven't done any toddlers because I'm just a little worried that they wouldn't fit in my oven and I because I only have one extension ring. But you can see she's like very, I love this sculptor. Like she's become one of my new favorite sculptors because I love how she does open hands. And like, I think this cat has, yeah, this cat has both open hands. And I love the little faces and I don't think her, I think her open eyed kits are still cute. Like sometimes open eyed kits can look a little crazy. So, but yeah, she's very detailed and a lot of times you'll see like with these bigger kits, like the sculptors for some reason leave out some detail when they do bigger sculpts. And you can see that this sculpt is still very detailed, just like a newborn would be, like has all the creases and wrinkles and stuff. So yeah, that's one of the custom orders. I am again available for customs and um, the link to see my custom prices and terms is all going to be in the description below. So we can put her over there and then we can get out the Bountiful Baby Sculpts. These are two uh, newer Realborns. Um, I'm so glad she ordered this Realborn when she did because he's now right back out of stock. So let me pause and grab him out because this is the reason why I was making this video is actually for this sculpt. All right, so this, you know, it's not my favorite Realborn, but um, I think he's gonna turn out cute. I have yet to see any like dolls of color like AA versions or biracial versions of him yet. Let me open him up. Um, so yeah, he's not my favorite, but I think he's going to be a really cute kit when he's painted. And I think he's a great size. He's that really like 20 inch size. Oh, sorry. The, the plastic was stuck to my hand. So he's, this is real born Canon. He is, uh, the brother of several real borns, I think. Uh, gosh, I can't. Yeah, I think he has a lot of siblings, if I remember correctly. Um, so this is Realborn Cannon. He's about 20 inches. Uh, so you can see his head next to Tyra's. Tyra's. He's got a big head, actually. So that's interesting because I didn't expect his head to be still this big next to hers. But that's <laughs> that's funny. You can see the difference in the color of the vinyls. I prefer this color, the Realborn color, and it looks like they're kind of back to their normal vinyl. At least he feels like normal. Um, not as hard as the other vinyls I've been getting from them recently. And he's back to that nice neutral color. Oh my gosh, the, the Harlow kit that I painted, that vinyl was horrible. I hated that vinyl. But anyway, so here's one of his arms. It's got a slightly open hand there. And then another slightly open hand on this side too if I can get it out of the I'm doing this one-handed so uh, work with me here <laughs> anyway so here is the other hand similar and then he's just got you know regular looking legs but um, I'll bring them out just in case someone is interested in getting this kit and one of them wants to see the all the limbs in detail they have some I think they have pictures of the kit blank with all the limbs on the actual Bountiful Baby website, but this is just in case. I hope you guys can hear me. So here's the bottom of one foot, the little leg. So yeah, he's gonna be a good size. Uh, he's gonna be a similar size, I think, to actually Reborn Michael, which is what Miles is. So this, th that means he'll be probably in the bigger end of newborn, probably some zero to three months. So there it is. There's his other foot. Very, very creased. So yeah, this is the other custom order. So these two are custom orders. And then this next baby is going to be kind of like an experiment for me. I'm really excited to paint her because she has open hands and she's a real born. And that's, so that's not normal for real borns to have both hands open. Um, so that's his COA, real born canon. But yeah, so I'm really excited to paint this Realborn. This is one of the newest Realborns, actually, and that was released. And I was so excited to um, get her. I think she's really cute. Again, she's also a really good size. Um, 
I think she's like 19 inches. And I'm going to experiment with doing like a really newborn skin tone on her. Even more so than I've been doing before. My friend sent me a bunch of reference pictures for AA newborns. So I'm really going to really try hard on her. So she might take a bit of time for me to get her right. But this is Realborn Kels... No, no. This is Realborn Daphne. So this is Realborn Daphne next to Canon. You can see her head is tiny, smaller, but not by much. So she's really cute. You can see her little expression. She has like a little smile. Um, and then her limbs are what I'm most excited about, like I was saying. I'm so excited to paint these limbs. I think they're going to paint really well, especially because, again, she's that nice neutral vinyl color. So I can really build... So look at the rolls on that leg. Look at how detailed. They've gotten so good with uh, the limbs. They're just still working on getting the faces right on the real born sometimes. But I think she turned out really cute. But look at those limbs. Tell me that's not the most amazing. Like even unpainted. That's so crazy how realistic her limbs are. So that's one of the legs. And then similarly, here's another leg that's very similar with the rolls. And the toe pointed. It's really cute leg. So, and then here is what I'm most excited about. These open hands. I think, because I don't know, I, um, August has open hands, but they're kind of weird to pose. I think these are going to pose really well. I don't know how else to explain other than they just kind of sometimes lay weird. So you have to pose her in special ways and I don't know. I think it's the angle of the arm. These little arms, I think, are going to pose really well. So that's the open hand on this side. You can see there. Sorry, I'm sniffling. My uh, <laughs> my nose is running a little bit. It wait, when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I have to blow my nose. I don't know. I think it's like a post-nasal drip or something. I think people, all people get that at some point in their lives. And then there's the other arm. Which is very similar with that thumb in the front like that. Look at that. Look at the creases on that hand on these hands. So amazingly detailed. But anyway, you guys, that's what I wanted to show you. These are my next upcoming works in progresses. I am open for customs. Um, but if you order a custom now, you'll have two of dolls ahead of you. Um, and then I would work on this baby while working on your custom number three. Uh, all that information is going to be in below. And like I don't forget that those two babies are available for sale. Uh, but might be sold by the time I edit this video. Anyway, I will see you guys back in my dorm, I'm guessing. It will be the next time I make a video. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.